Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you are on this fantastic planet called Earth, wherever you happen to be located, I hope you're having a transcendent day, evening, or night, wherever you happen to be located. Welcome to my channel on Blender. There are so many, but I'm one of the many. Today, on my channel, I'm going to be talking about something that involves 3D Martin. Here you see I have a low poly pencil. Low poly pencil. Let me go to edit mode so I can discuss the topic of this. You see right here, before I go further, you see Blender and most 3D software, they love quads. I believe I heard in game engines they use triangles, but hey, I haven't gotten to any game engine yet. But I know at least in Blender, most 3D application, they love making things of quads. Now you see right here, in this little section, I zoomed in on. It's quad. It looks like quads, but let me subdivide it and we'll see if it's truly a quad. I'm gonna hit A. Click on the right key, subdivide. And you see that little section that is highlighted right there will not subdivide. I'm going to do it again. Subdivide it. This whole, this whole top part didn't subdivide. But if you look at the rest of the pencil, it has subdivided. So you must, we would have to ask ourselves, why did it not subdivide? And I discovered the answer a few days ago. When I was working on my pieces, let me hit Z key. Let me go back some so I can make this easy for myself. If I leave it like it is now, it won't be easy. Okay, that's it. Remember, as I stated earlier, Blender love quads. It only will subdivide quads. So therefore, even though this area that I have but the face looks like a quad. It's not a quad. I discovered that when I was working with my uh, mesh a few days ago. It's not a quad. And we're going to prove it. I'm going to click on. See? Right there. It's only the white little uh, edge. It does not encompass the whole thing. So it's not. This is, and for it to be a quad. Let me see. To be a quad, let me extrude this. For it to be a quad, it must have four sides. Side one is highlighted. Side, see, this is not a quad because it's not just four sides. Let me come down here and see if this, this um, another section is really a quad. I'm going to extrude this. Let me zoom in. All right, so let's see. I'm going to put it back on edge select. Okay, that's a straight line. So that's side one. Side two. Side three. Side four. It's a quad. So I, I can subdivide this. Let me hit the A key again. Subdivide. Yes, yeah, see? It's a quad. It will only subdivide if the face in question is truly a quad. Like I said, this area right here, it looks like a quad, but it may not be. Let's prove it. Just by having half, this is line, I'm gonna count the line. You remember, quads should have four sides. Like I counted it down here in this little, in this area right here. Let me see. Taking it down with the pencil. This little area right in here that I'm shading in, it is a quad. It had four sides, so it could be subdivided. Here, here's side one, side two, side three, side four, five, six, six, and seven, eight, 
nine, ten. So it's not a quad because it got ten sides. That's why it will never subdivide. Let me subdivide it again. See, it will not subdivide because it got those ten sides. So I discovered it's best to go into vertex mode. And now I can see all my necessary vertexes. So let me click on this vertex here. I'm going to connect it to this one. Hit the F key. That helps it out some. Let me go back to edge select. Now, this is side one, side two, side three, and this whole thing. See, it will, it's th those edges up there. They're not quads, so you got to make it a quad. Click back on vertex groups. I want to I wanna click here and here and choose uh, subdivide. Then I can come up here and I can select this, hit the F key, and it's connected. I'm going to do this. Hit the F key right here. Hit the F key. Now, I'm not going to make it look pretty. I don't have to make it look pretty because I'm, I'm, I'm covering the point. I just want to try to make them quads if I can. Let me see if this is a quad. Let me see. Side one. Side two. But this whole thing. See this whole line. So I don't know if it's going to subdivide. Let me try. So no, it didn't subdivide. I might have to new, put a, a vertex on this line. But let me go back to edge select. Vertex here. Vertex there. Hit the F key. Let me see if this, this little section. One. Eh. See this whole line. Let me see if I can dissolve this. I'm going to try to dissolve and see if that helps it. Click on dissolve again. Okay, it's being stubborn. It's being stubborn. I can't dissolve that edge. Okay, so why won't it let me dissolve it? Let me see if I can move it. Yeah. Okay, let's delete the whole edge. Now, let me click on this. Click this. Let me click back on the vertex. And we need those vertexes too. So I'm going to click here. Here. Subdivide. I got a vertex. So I can connect this. This. Hit fill. I'm going to click this line, this line, subdivide, I have another vertex, so I can connect these two right here, hit fill, click this, click this, subdivide, do these two, fill, I'm going to do the same thing with these, this line right here. Subdivide. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to all the lines up that I if I can. Click this. This. F. Subdivide it. Click this. That. F. Subdivide it. Up. Oh, subdivide it. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take this vertex. Join it there. Uh, I didn't. I didn't subdivide this line right here. F. Oops. Subdivide. Not F. I'm going to take this vertex, connect it to this, hit F, take this vertex, connect it there, F, take this vertex, connect it here, hit F. Now I'm going to see, but well, before I even do that, I just want to check the edges. One, two, three, four. One, two, okay, one, two. Three and four. 
Let me highlight it. Let me see if it'll subdivide now. Oh my God, it's still not subdividing. Let me see number of cuts. Oh God. So what's wrong? Okay, it did the. I'm gonna put it back to the way it was. Okay, let me just highlight this box. Oh, see this whole thing. Let me check this whole box. Slide one. Oh, see? That's why it's not doing it. See, this side and this side. Let me put it back in the vertex. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna connect. I'm gonna make this into some vertexes. I'm gonna subdivide it a couple of times. I'm gonna do that just four times. I'm only gonna work in that little section right there. Go back to edge select. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna select this. Subdivide it. I should put it in that. And subdivide it again. Okay, let's see what happened. I'm gonna click here. Hit fill. 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 And I'm just gonna select this area right here. Okay, it's this whole thing. That's why it's not working. See, the whole thing is messed up. See this whole little section. See? That's why it's not working. Let me go to edge mode or vertex. Let me take this and connect it to this. Hit fill. Let me do that. Still not subdividing. Damn. So it's subdivided into smaller chunks. Uh, I don't want it that sophisticated looking. But that's the that's that's it. You gotta figure out some way of how to break it up into smaller little understandable chunks. Okay, I like this. I like that. But see, when I select the whole face, it's select the whole face. So there's something wrong with this whole section. We have to fix this whole section right here. I took care of that. Took care of that. One, two, three, four. One. But it's the whole section that's something wrong with it. I wonder if I should have just dissolved the lines. I'm going to dis dissolve stuff. Dissolve. Or oh, I'm just going to delete the edges. Edge delete. Delete the edge. Delete the edge. Delete the edge for all, everything. Now I'm going to try to... I'm just gonna do the face select, subdivide it. But it's not gonna. I know it's not gonna subdivide. Let me get back here. I'm just gonna delete some edges. Delete. Delete. Delete and find out what's wrong. See, I see what's wrong there. Let me keep going back some. How far can I take this back? I'm just going to hit Control Z. All 
Oh, it's putting everything back. Edit, redo. Let me just delete everything again. Delete it. So, but that that's how I fix it. You have to get in here and find out how to change it to a quad. That's how I found out how to do it on mine. This one has been a little bit more stubborn. Okay, I got it back to this. This nice look. I'm even going to delete these two right here. Delete it. Click it. Delete it. Delete it. See? I wonder what, if we can just join edges. Should I, should, I, should I try merge? Mesh? I should try edge. I wish I just could merge those uh, edges together. I could delete it and see what happens. Delete edges. Oops, see? But that may be a good thing. I don't know. That could be helpful. Put it in edge mode. I'm going to delete this. Delete edge. Any edge I see that's hanging out in limbo. Delete that edge. And delete that edge. Now let me check this. Okay. I'm going to connect this fill. This with this fill. Let me do the face select. Let me see if I can subdivide it. Okay, good. See, woo! It took a long time, people. It took a long time, but you have seen what I did to correct those faces that will not subdivide. You have to take your time and go through them and make them quads. Remember, if you have a face that will, that will not subdivide, that means it is no longer a quad. And it, it don't have to be a pretty quad either. It can be a rhombus, a parallelogram, but it better have four sides. Thank you for stopping by. As you see, my good people, I don't stop with my 3D skills. You should not stop. I keep pushing forward. You should keep pushing forward. Never give up because the Blender community will not give up on you. And the Blender Foundation will not give up on you. Until the next time, Blender family, peace.